Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the Resident Evil 1 save room theme. Okay, it's a very beautiful and haunting theme, okay? So it's really simple. So two repeating motives, okay? The first motive is repeated for four times, second motive repeated for four times, and you repeat that, alternate that uh, to each other as well, okay? But anyway, so I'll give you a preview, you see what I mean by uh, the repeating motive. It goes like this, check it out. back to it. Alternates back. Just like that, okay? So it's pretty simple stuff, okay? So here we go. The first motive is played for four times. Let's learn that motive right now. So it's easier to put the two hands together because it kind of like plays together, okay? So left hand starts off with the C, just below middle C here, so we're going to below middle C, so start here, so C, up to G, so there's only two notes for the left hand, and then right hand comes in, up to the D, right next to middle C, and then E flat, up to the B flat, back down to middle C, and that's it, it's a six note melody phrase played for four times, okay, so repeat that, so left hand, C, G, right hand, D, E flat, B flat, C, yeah, so that's that six note melody. Okay, so you, what you want to do is play this for four times in total. So one, two, three, four. So it's nice and smooth and nice and continuous, okay? It gives that kind of like mysteriousness, uh, beautiful theme, but it's kind of like creepy at the same time, okay? But anyway, let's move on now to the second motive, okay? This second motive is also played for four times. This time, right hand, the two notes, this time switch to D flat. Up to A flat, right hand goes up to the G above middle C, and then A flat up to E flat, down to F. Yeah, that's the six notes, and you repeat that for four times. The so second time, third time, fourth time. Just like that, pretty simple, okay? So yeah, always remember the left hand has like two notes, and the right hand has four notes, okay? That first motive is also similar to the second motive in a sense, okay? Just like that, so it goes, D, A flat, G, A flat, E flat, F. Repeat for the second time, third time, fourth time. And that's it. Pretty simple, right? Okay, and then what you want to do is play them back to back and then alternate between each other, okay? So it's like the first motive for four times, second motive for four times, and then back to the first motive four times, second motive four times, etc., etc., like this. Yeah, okay, so you don't have to do it that fast, just just doing it to, just to save some time, okay? It's just like... Like that, nice and mysterious. Just nice and flowing. One, two, three, four, five, six, as if, feel like that is like six beats, so it's always one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, nice and smooth like that, so not like... Like none of that, okay? Make sure it's always flowing and continuous. That gives that sense of mysteriousness to this awesome soundtrack, okay? But anyway, that's pretty much it. So other stuff you can do afterwards when you get really, really good at it, you can like maybe even like combine it with one hand and then right hand, um, you can like a right hand in the original song, there's like other stuff that comes in uh, with the higher, like uh, higher pitch instruments. And then the left hand is always, like uh, the, the theme is always playing over it, okay? So something like this. So it's like, Let's try to practice it. Yeah, okay, so again, it'd be a little bit difficult because like the left hand has a pretty big jumps and stuff, so like.
that kind of thing, okay? So practice that and see if you can actually do the main thing with just one hand, okay? It will take a bit of practice and the right hand can actually do all the high pitch stuff that is in the original as well. But anyway, it's up to you, uh, but it's a pretty fun theme. It's a really nice theme. It's really beautiful, very haunting, yet very mysterious, okay? So that's why it's so awesome, okay? But anyway, hope you enjoyed this lesson. Go ahead, if you like these step-by-step -step piano tutorials, check out the rest of my channel, because literally I have multiple thousands and thousands and thousands of these for you to enjoy and learn from, okay? So a lot of stuff. Also, if, uh, if you want to learn more piano from me, check out my website as well, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below, uh, where you learn how to play piano from me. Learn how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, and a lot of other stuff, okay? So check it out as well. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Enjoy your time around my channel, and as for now, see you next time. Thanks for watching. For those who want to learn my methods on how to play any song by ear, grab the free preview of my book. Or just visit my website, bestpianomethod.com, for all my other piano mastery courses, sheet music, song requests, and services. All the links are in the description below. See you next time.